Hi students, so I was online present the video lecture series for adjustments for financial statements. In this video, we will discuss bad debts. This video series is helpful for those students who are appearing in Cambridge O-Levels, upcoming exams either in June or November through CAIE or IGCSE for accounting 7707 or 0452. Let's begin the lesson material. What is the credit term? That is 210 and 30. Here 2 denoted discount rate, 10 stands for credit period and N denoted for net payment and 30 defined the credit period. Let's see what the explanation of it. This term told that if a customer will pay within 10 days, selling company will offer a 2% discount to him else he has to pay net or full payment within or at 30th day. What if the customer failed to pay after the credit period? This is the red sign for the company. It means the debt of the company moved towards an irrecoverable situation. Let's see the circumstances, how this situation arises. What circumstances behind the bad debts? First one is the debtor may be refused to pay one of some invoices. Secondly, the debtor may be refusing to pay part of an invoice. Thirdly, the debtor business has failed or bankrupt. And finally, the debtor has insolvent or nothing is ever likely to be received. What would be the action of the company? In this situation, the company declared this debtor as bad debt. And the process is called the write-off. Let's see the reason behind it. What is the reason behind the bad debt? The first reason is the company extended too much credit to the customer that is incapable of paying back. Secondly, customer misrepresents himself in obtaining a credit sale. The third one is the customer has no intention to pay the debt. As far as bad debt's nature is concerned, it is an expense. Because the company failed to receive its funds against the credit sale and losses have expense in nature. So bad debt would fall in this category. The recording entry of bad debt is bad debt debit and debtor's credit. We discuss it is an expense and it has to close in the profit and loss account. The closing entry is profit and loss account debit and bad debt credit. The impact of bad debt on financial statements, especially on trading and profit and loss account. The occurrence of bad debt would not affect the gross profit, but it will decrease the net profit because the expenses are increased and we know that gross profit minus expenses are equal to net profit. Let's see its profit and loss account extract. The profit and loss account extract shows that the bad debt's expense reported in profit and loss account under the expense heading. Hopefully you got a clear understanding of the bad debts and its treatment. If you have any query, kindly ask in the comment section of this video. You can download the related formats and lesson material through the link provided below. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, like and share video with other people to learn from it. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.